Hello, I am Dr. Sridhar. Welcome to my channel. In case you have already subscribed, please support the channel by sharing the videos with your colleagues. And if you have not subscribed, please do subscribe and follow the notifications as well. So there are a few uh, aspects of the NICU characteristics, including the space, the layout of the NICU, uh, equipment, whether they are updated, whether the servicing is done properly, whether the team is well versed with all aspects of the troubleshooting in the ventilator. A good bi biomedical team on site is very helpful. And uh, supporting services, the biomedical I mentioned, radiology, uh, cleaning services, the housekeeping team, supplies team, because you should have a good system of stocking and planning what you need. Pharmacy support is crucial as well, especially when we need urgent medications um, and uh, TPN preparation and so on is from the pharmacy as well. Uh, the team characteristics uh, that indicate a good team, obviously a great physician team where a senior member guides a team, uh, the inexperienced team to uh, support and educate them. A committed, dedicated nursing team. Uh, there is, uh, it's needless to say, the nursing team is always dedicated, and uh, we should encourage that there is a system of learning within the team. Safety-centric approach uh, and also quality-centric approach. These are the buzzwords in neonatology. Obviously, uh, quality uh, focuses on avoiding errors, and if you have an error, we have to learn from it without uh, penalizing. So. Uh, a punitive approach is not ideal because it discourages further team members from reporting errors. So always learn from the error and make it a team approach rather than an individual centric approach. Always disseminate any uh, learning points from incidents that happen in the unit to the entire team so that everyone benefits by learning from the mistake that was made or an event that happened which could be avoided. Always make the corrections fairly quickly. Don't wait for detailed meetings. Uh, evaluate within the team come to an understanding and then uh, implement the changes and when the wider uh, quality meetings are happening, we can summarize this and audit it to make sure that the changes have happened. Uh, this should mean that you have a knee-jerk reaction to a problem. You have to implement the changes quickly without uh, bureaucracy. That's what I mean to say. And uh, regular team uh, training is important, skill drills, especially if you are not a busy unit. Uh, the team working, coordination, communication, all this can be tested during a scenario approach like in the NRP training. So do skill drills on your team for different scenarios. You can in, even involve other teams like radiology and pharmacy in it. Uh, debrief after incidents in a non-critical way. Always learn from the incidents as we discussed. So we have two different models of the NICU here. So we have the more traditional layout here. Uh, sometimes it becomes challenging if you have a very wide NICU in terms of cross covering of the nurses when they go for breaks. Sometimes an approach where you have a patient here and the patient across helps, but we can't change the layout much because it's already built into the hospital system. The space between the beds is very important. Privacy should be ensured by curtains if possible. And um, where it's an option, we give a patient parent-centric care in rooms like this. So many of the modern NICUs are building with this approach. This will have its own challenges, especially in terms of staffing provision, because to leave a nurse one-to-one, -one, one, even when the baby is bigger, becomes challenging. In the intensive care phase, it works, but beyond the intensive care phase, and the parents cannot be left alone with the baby, so we have to find a balance between staffing appropriately and family friends.